yes good evening guys to all of you so guys uh today we are going to discuss about the inversion so i welcome you all in this wonderful session on this wonderful platform that is byju's exam prep this is the fourth session of theory of machines and my dear we are working with the simple mechanism topic and yesterday i taught you degrees of freedom and guys today we are going to start with the inversions of simple four bar mechanism and the heading you can see is grishoff's law and my dear if you see uh, from the simple mechanism there are majorly three topics from which every year questions are coming one is degree of freedom second is grishoff law third one is crank and slotted lever mechanism yesterday we have discussed degree of freedom completely today we are going to start with grishoff law and we will complete it shortly and tomorrow we are going to discuss my dear nothing but crank and slotted lever mechanism okay so guys just like and share the session we are starting it without wasting the time and not only we will be discussing theory but we will also be doing some wonderful numerical on that as well okay so sirf theory nahi we will also be having numericals okay so let us move further guys so this is some detail about me the subject going on is theory of machines okay so guys uh, let us start with now my dear this is a small introduction about the concept capsule series my dear concept capsule series have been started for mechanical and civil from today only and today first session is already uh, already available on the youtube channel you can see that is related to centripetal and centrifugal forces yes abhimanyu singh good evening midun good evening so you can go to uh, the youtube channel videos only and in videos you will find this session the today session where i have discussed about centripetal and centrifugal forces so in this series we would be having some wonderful concepts where you have doubt and if you want some particular concept to be discussed in this series you can mention that in the comment section of the same video okay so first video have been released today for this so today was the first episode of that the timing for this is 9 am in the morning you can say so for mechanical civil it have been started from today only okay my dear this is uh, information about today uh, tomorrow session tomorrow you are going to have a session by asutosh saxena sir and that would be on the app you can register now for that and in this session sir would be talking about how to ace gate 2023 in first attempt at 12:30 pm 8th may tomorrow it is there so guys you can attend this session and this is going to be very helpful for you so let us move further so now without wasting the time let us start my dear so my dear yesterday we have seen kurzweil equation now we are going to the extension of that there is something known as grubler's criteria kurzweil have given us a wonderful equation and after that equation my dear you know that you have seen kurzweil equation and modified kurzweil equation as 3 into l minus 1 minus 2j minus h so my dear after that uh, this is definitely a wonderful hard work done by the kurzweil and after that my dear grubler came and grubler have given a wonderful criteria and he have done a wonderful smart work with which he got a number of awards as well so when we are talking about the grubler's criteria what he said he said when we are talking about the mechanism with lower pairs only so when we would be having the mechanism with lower pairs only it simply indicates that the number of higher pairs are zero and he said we are interested in the mechanisms and for mechanism degree of freedom should be one so he say if i would be using these values in the kurzweil equation so my dear he used the kurzweil equation and have given some wonderful point and my dear if you would be putting that one is equals to 3 into l minus 1 minus 2j h is zero you can write it as 1 is equals to 3l minus 3 minus 2j you can write as 3l minus 2j minus 4 is equal to 0 you will get this equation guys and when you will be having this equation you can also write it as 3l minus 2 times of j plus 2 is equal to 0 my dear if you see this equation this equation is nothing but the result of the kurzweil equation when you would be putting h is equal to 0 f is equal to 1 it is you might be thinking like that so my dear i would be showing you why this work was said to be a brilliant work actually this work have made the things very easy for the researchers 
how they have made it easy i am going to tell you guys if you see this equation carefully my dear you can see that this j plus 2 term you can see my dear this j plus 2 term can be odd can be even this can be odd can be even and my dear if it can be odd it can be even but 2 is a multiplier which is even and whenever we multiply even quantity with odd or even quantity we will get an even quantity so jab, whenever you are going to multiply your even quantity with odd or even it is going to be even 2 into 3 is 6 2 is to 2 is 2 into 2 is 4 so my dear that's why this entire thing is going to be even now and my dear definitely you cannot subtract even quantity from odd quantity and get equals to zero even this quantity should be same as that of this but still if we are not talking about same if this is even it it, it must be even also so my dear for to be same it must be even also and my dear if you are getting 3 into l as even then my dear you will never get the product of two odd quantities as even 3 cross 3 is 9 again an odd quantity so my dear if you want this 3l to be even it means l would be even so my dear this is what this equation is saying because of which i say this equation have changed many things because of that he got awards my dear many researchers many many researchers have done such kind of smart work if you see the textbook they mentioned that they have done this this is the equation and for that they got awards but we never try to understand what was the smartness in this concept so my dear smartness was actually what grubler wanted to say that is not mentioned anywhere so let us try to see what he wanted to say because it is not mentioned in the textbook majorly so my dear he wanted to say that link should be even if you are talking about mechanism with zero higher pair so if you want to make a mechanism with lower pairs only my dear the number of links should be even that is what was the essence of this equation what he wanted to say he wanted to say if you want to make a mechanism with lower pairs only the number of links should be even and my dear by doing this he has simplified the work for the researcher he have reduced the 50 percent work of the researcher how he reduced 50 percent work my dear if any researcher will try to make a mechanism how he will try to make my dear he will try to make a mechanism first of all he tried with four links he got a mechanism then he will try with five link he will not get that six link he will get that seven link he will not not get it why because for even link only you will be getting but once grubblers have said the same thing then after knowing this now researcher will not be trying for the odd links so 50 percent of the research work is going to be reduced please tell me guys is it clear to everyone or not please tell me that yes is this clear guys please tell me that yes so guys this is something known as grubless criteria now we are moving to Grishoff also Okay, guys, so let us move further. So, guys, now we would be starting about the Grishoff's uh, law. What is Grishoff's law? And to understand the Grishoff law, my dear, first of all, let us see four bar mechanism. Yesterday, we already have seen simple four bar mechanism, what it is, how we are going to talk about that. So, guys, a simple four bar mechanism looks like this. I also told you why we are using the word simple for the four bar mechanism because it was the very first type of mechanism so whenever something is coming for the first time we give the name as simple so my dear that's why it was given the name of simple four bar mechanism so if you see this simple four bar mechanism my dear let us say this is o this is a this is b and this is c so these are four links link number one link number two link number three and link number four so there are four links so my dear i would be giving you some analogy which is going to help you in understanding the grace of law so my dear you already know when you want to make a mechanism for a kinematic change you need to fix one link so you are fixing this link and my dear this position in a simple four bar mechanism or any mechanism we would be saying is the best position of a mechanism why this is the best position because my dear input is given with respect to this position you will be getting output with respect to the same input will be given with respect to the fixed link 
आउटपुट वुड बी टेकन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द फिक्स लिंक सो माई डियर इट इज सम वन हु इज गवर्निंग एवरी थिंग आई विल बी कंपेरिंग कंपेयरिंग दिस कंडीशन और दिस पोजिशन ऑफ ए सिंपल फोर बार मैकेनिज्म If you talk about in a country, in our country, if you ask me, I will say the prime ministerial position is the same as that this position because he is governing everything with the help of bureaucrats. Yes, with the help of his minister, cabinet minister. Yes, but he is going to control everything. Similarly, here fixed link is something who is going to control input and output, going to govern input and output. So it is the best position. In our home, I will say the position of our father or mother. it is going to be the supreme one whatever he or she says we need to follow so guys that's why i said this is the best position now my dear we are talking about this input link and output link this input and output links they are said to be the second best position they are said to be the second best position my dear this terminology is fine but still you want to know why it is best this is best because there is no motion for this link these two are best my dear because they are just connected to the best one and the second thing is because they are connected to the fixed link my dear their motion is well defined because they are joined with the pin joint so my dear this link can only rotate this link can also only rotate that rotation may not be complete may be partial but my dear these two link can only go for a rotation motion they cannot go for it they cannot go for a general motion which is a combination or not defined motion so my dear pure rotation pure translation are two fundamental type of motion all other motions are said to be the combination of these two even pure rolling we have seen yesterday so my dear when we are talking about this that's why because their motion is defined they are the second best position and my dear this position of coupler this coupler or coupling rod my dear this is said to be the worst position of a simple four bar mechanism because this position we are far away from the fixed link the governing link we are very far away we are not directly connected so that is the reason my dear if you want to compare this is similar to the prime minister position this is similar to the bureaucrats and his minister you can say and this is similar to the position of a general common man like us yes so the worst position in a four bar mechanism so my dear now i will be telling you the technical reason behind that this is best because no motion these are second best because their motion is defined motion like pure rotation so my dear for coupler when you are going to see the motion the motion is neither pure translation nor pure rotation because the links which are not connected with the fixed link their motion is found to be neither pure translation nor pure rotation their motion was found to be a combination of translation and rotation and my dear that combination was not fair like we have seen in the pure rolling that there was a relation between maximum rotation velocity and translation velocity that is also a well defined motion but this combination was found to be a rough combination at the same time this combination is variable at some instant we have 60% translation 40% rotation at other instant we have 40% translation 60% rotation at other instant we have 58% translation 42% rotation yes good evening abhishek so likewise the percentage of translation and rotation are variable and that's why it was given the name of rough because it is a combination of many motions so we will be giving the name of general motion so my dear this coupler would be there in the general motion and its motion is not a well defined one and that is the reason because its motion will be depending on the motion of input and output link in dono ka samanjasya kaisa hai the motion of coupler would be depending on these two links motion and how the relation between them is there so that's why that motion is said to be general motion and my dear that is why i said this to be the worst position in a mechanism is it clear or not please tell me that guys and do like and share the session i want more and more people to be present in the class so that all students can get the benefit of that okay so my dear is it clear to everyone shall we move on so this i told you because it is going to help you at the time of grace of law sir vibration class in vision batch starting from tomorrow yes abhishek it is starting from tomorrow for sure so guys now let us move further so my dear now we would be talking about what are inversions actually so my dear you know if we are going to have any kinematic chain 
it would be having some number of links so if we have a kinematic chain with four links these are the four links o a b and c you know that whenever you would be fixing a link of a kinematic chain so my dear okay sure sure abhishek so my dear you must be knowing that whenever a link of this kinematic chain would be kept fix this will be converted into the mechanism so when you would be fixing a link of this kinematic chain it will become a mechanism for sure so my dear if you want to fix a link how many options are there for you you can fix oa you can fix ab you can fix bc you can fix cd obviously you can fix only one link out of four so you have four choice first choice second choice third choice and fourth choice so my dear when you will be fixing oa some different mechanism you will get when you will fix ab you will get some different mechanism when you will be fixing bc you will be getting some different mechanism when you will be fixing oc you will be getting some different mechanism so by fixing one by one these four links you will be getting some mechanisms and the group of those mechanism is given the name of inversions so inversion is nothing but the group of mechanism which you are getting by fixing a link of a link of a kinematic chain one by one but only one at a time once again i am saying you the group of mechanism we are going to get by fixing a link of a kinematic chain one by one but only one at a time that will give you that that group of mechanisms is said to be inversions okay so my dear if we have number of links to be l then my dear maximum number of inversions possible are going to be l so if we have number of links to be 4 the maximum possibility of inversions my dear is nothing but 4 you might be thinking sir why you are writing maximum because my dear we have studied in the starting in the theory of machines that if two mechanisms would be giving same relative motion if relative motion between input and output link for two mechanism is going to be same we will not be considering those two mechanism as different one but we would be considering those two mechanism as the same one so if that is the case that for two mechanism if their relative motions are similar or same we will call them same mechanism so it may happen that two inversion may give you same relative motion in such case we may get less number of inversions also like in simple four bar mechanism it is going to happen so my dear first of all i am telling you we are going to get some input and some output we are going to get some input and some output so my dear i am going with the i am going with the possibilities let us say my dear when i am going to fix when i am going to fix let us say when i am going to fix oa then my dear when i am going to fix oa i found that i found that input is complete rotation input link is going to complete rotate this is just a a a point i am going to take i am just taking a possibility that what can happen maximum so i want to show maximum possible mechanisms to you so if i say that input is going to rotate completely output is also going to rotate completely i will say rotate completely rotate completely when it is complete rotation then my dear i would like to tell you if some link is going for complete rotation we will call it as crank so my dear complete rotation is said to be crank similarly if some link is not going to completely rotate if it is going to partially rotate then i will be calling it rocker like just imagine if some link is having 360 degree rotation it is crank i will be showing you animation also if other link is going to be like this it is going to be rocker so my dear complete rotation means crank partial rotation means rocker so if input is completely rotating output is also completely rotating you will be getting this kind of mechanism so my dear when you get this kind of mechanism input is crank output is crank you will be giving the name to this mechanism as crank crank mechanism crank crank mechanism if you get my dear let us say when we are going to fix ab then we get partial rotation here and complete rotation here so partial rotation means rocker complete rotation means crank the mechanism name will be rocker crank this time this would be input this would be output this would be input this would be output so you would be getting rocker crank mechanism 
let us say my dear when we are going to fix bc we are going to get complete rotation here and partial rotation here then my dear input would be completely rotating output will be partial it is going to be crank rocker so you can see i am parallelly showing you the motion and i will be showing you the animations also so we are going to get crank rocker and my dear when you are going to talk about the fourth one let us say we are going to fix co link fixing co link let us say we are getting partial rotation here partial rotation here so you will be calling the mechanism name as rocker 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 so my dear if you see these are the four possibilities of mechanism which we can get i am saying these are four possibilities because out of these four we can get any one yes i am assuming that by fixing oi i will get that i may get crank crank by fixing ab so we are not going into that right now right now i am going to show you the maximum possibilities so you can get maximum of these four mechanism no other motion is possible because input and output are connected with the pin joint with the fix at pin joint a body can only rotate at turning pair only rotation is possible so my dear if you see these four mechanism if you try to see these two mechanism mechanism carefully rocker crank and crank rocker they are same only let us say my input is crank output is rocker if i am going to rotate 180 degree you will be getting rocker rocker crank so my dear if you are going to rotate a machine by 180 degree the machine remains the same so even relative motion is going to be same when you are going to rotate a machine by 180 degree means making input as output output as input the name of machine will not be changing here because we are talking about relative motions only so if input is rotation output is partial rotation we will call it rotation to rotation or rotation to partial rotation so crank rocker rocker crank are same rotation to reciprocation reciprocation to rotation are same relative motion rotation to oscillation oscillation to rotation they would be called as same relative motion so my dear these two are only one inversion this is one inversion this is one inversion so total we are getting three inversion for this mechanism that's why i have written maximum you can get four actual number for simple four bar mechanism you are getting as Three here, so my dear, for simple four bar mechanism, we would be getting only three inversions. Please tell me, guys, are you clear about this or not? Very good, Abhishek. Wonderful. Yes, Harshada. Yes, Midun, Abhi, Manju, Ajmera. Yes, please tell me, guys, whatever we have discussed till now is clear to you or not? Then we are moving further. So these are the inversions I have discussed. Now I will be going to the ratio flow. okay now the ratio flow would be starting because ratio flow will be telling you that by fixing which link you are going to get double crank by fixing which link you are going to get crank rocker or rocker crank and by fixing which link you are going to get double rocker so what kind of mechanism i am going to get that would be given by ratio flow and it is 5 to 6 years of hard work of that wonderful personality yes or no yes so guys so we are moving now to the grace of law we have seen the wonderful concept of inversion very good bhanu so now we are moving to the grace of law so my dear grace of law says that if we have a simple four bar mechanism and let us say we would be having these four links and out of these four links they would be having some link length a b c d and let us say these a b c d are nothing but 2 3 7 and 11 these are the link length given to us then grishov law says that if s plus l s is the shortest link length l is the longest link length if the summation of these two is going to be less than or equals to the other two link length that is s plus l is less than equals to p plus q if this condition satisfy then grishov said that you are going to get a continuous motion you are going to get a continuous motion so he says for continuous relative motion between the number of links the summation of shortest and longest link length should not be greater than the other two link length so my dear when we are saying continuous relative motion so continuity we need to understand what is the meaning of continuity let us say if you have double crank yes motion is continuous if we are talking about crank rocker if you see crank motion is continuous if we have double rocker here discontinue happens 
because whenever link is going to change the direction of motion it will stop velocity will become zero so in case of double rocker we get the discontinuity so when somebody is saying about the continuous relative motion it means he is going to guarantee you at least one crank because crank is the symbol of continuity so my dear when he is saying that continuous it means you are going to get at least one crank so crank is the symbol of continuity and my dear i am going to show you the animations now this is the very first type of motion when we are talking about double crank till now i was showing you the motion from my hand now you can see the animation and judge the motion this is double crank you can see input is rotating in the smaller circle output is rotating in the bigger circle in within 2 3 minutes i will start telling you when you are going to get this mechanism so right now i am showing you the animations this is once again double crank once again double crank i feel you can get it very easily crank rocker feel the crank rocker complete rotation here partial here but because of this crank continuity is going to be there so this is crank rocker mechanism and continuity is there because of this crank let us see the double rocker this is once again crank rocker this is double rocker double rocker is like this so these are the mechanism i have shown you now my dear i am going to tell you greshof have taken lakhs of mechanism lakho mechanism liye unhone and he try to understand that when we are going to get double crank when we are going to get crank rocker and when we are going to get double rocker so based on that he have given his law so my dear his law under uh, it is going to be tell you that if s plus l less than equals to p plus q then you are going to get at least one crank now i'm going to elaborate what greshof have said that if you would be having this situation you will get double crank for that situation you will get crank rocker so let us try to understand those condition so my dear i am going to take the first case where s plus l is less than p plus q so my dear if the summation of s plus l is less than p plus q it simply means that greshof law is satisfied so when greshof law was satisfying what we were getting my dear if we have fixed the shortest link this is the observation there is no there is no calculation or derivation for that this is the observation when shortest link was kept fixed we were getting double crank mechanism we were getting double crank mechanism and my dear if shortest is not fixed but shortest is either input or output link we were getting crank rocker mechanism these are the observation done by the wonderful researcher greshof and my dear you are going to get crank rocker and if you are going to say that if shortest is not fix not input not output so when shortest is not at these three position mean shortest is becoming coupler then you are going to get double rocker so my dear here you can say it was the biggest setback to the greshof that according to greshof if this condition was satisfied we must not get double rocker anyhow but still we were getting so my dear if you see if shortest link is fixed now i'm going to take that analogy that terminology which i have given you my dear you know fixed is the best position shortest is the best link so if best link is present at best position we are going to get the best mechanism where we get double crank mechanism just imagine it is the condition where your father won a lottery if he is going to win a lottery my dear you your elder brother your younger brother all are going to enjoy in any case why because when father is winning a lottery his property would be equally for all the child so everybody is going to enjoy so i will say both the crank you will be getting at input and output second case is when shortest is not fixed then shortest will be either input or output or coupler so we will see the input link if it is input or if it is output we are going to get crank rocker 
this is the best link at second best position so when best link is present at second best position it itself will rotate but no guarantee for others it is the condition let us say you won the lottery in that condition you are going to enjoy for sure because you have won the lottery but you cannot guarantee for your brothers that depends whether you have good relations with them or not so this is the just analogy i am going to give you otherwise these are the observations only then my dear if it is neither fixed nor input nor output and shortest is coupler best link worst position you are going to get double rocker my dear it is the condition you are going to misutilize the shortest link it is like you have encounter specialist and you are going to put him in the kitchen and then you are saying why we have so much crime because you are not using you are encounter specialist so this is the case if you are not going to use the shortest link properly then you will be getting this for this greshof is not going to be responsible so we would be saying this as misutilization we will be calling it as misutilization nothing more than that my dear no doubt here greshof fails but still we will be calling this statement as grace of law because it was a wonderful statement wonderful work for 5 to 6 years of sir grace of so giving respect we would be talking it and we will be taking it as law only but yes this is the misutilization we will be calling because we are putting it at the worst position so that is the reason we are not getting any crank for this case is it clear bhanu abhishek abhimanyu harshada midun abhimanyu yes everybody got it or not this is the first case of grace of law so my dear always follow this first check law is satisfied or not then go for shortest link fixed or not then see it is input or output or not if shortest is fixed no need to check anything else if shortest is input no need to check anything else if it is not fixed not input then check the coupler position so in that steps you would be moving further now my dear i am coming to the case number 2 very good sai ram wonderful so we are moving to my dear and guys uh, do like and share the session so that other student can also reach still grace of law is pending still some questions we are going to do here yes so my dear when we are talking about case number 2 this time i am taking as s plus l is equals to p plus q in this condition also law is satisfied but here we have two cases one case is like this 3 6 5 4 this is shortest this is longest so you can see 3 plus 3 plus 6 5 plus 4 and all the link lengths are unequal to each other okay so this is the first case second case would be when we have two shortest and two longest link so in this case all the three things we have seen in the previous case will be repeated the same repetition you will say if shortest is fixed you will be getting double crank if shortest is input or output you would be getting crank rocker if shortest is coupler you would be getting double rocker so it is going to be as it is repeated hope everybody would be getting it yes guys so now my dear we are moving to the next case that is if we have two shortest links and two longest links then you can write s plus l is equals to s plus l So this is a special case when we have equal link lengths, two shortest and two longest link. So when we are going to have two shortest and two longest link, my dear, you have two types of combinations possible. One, you join shortest with the longest. You join longest with the shortest. For this combination, my dear, this is said to be the parallelogram linkage. This is said to be the parallelogram linkage. and my dear if you join two shortest together and two longest together it is said to be deltoid linkage and my dear these two linkages when you are going to fix any kind of link my dear you will never get double rocker so they are always following the greshof law so it might be the case that greshof have seen major mechanism with these type of combinations because my dear here greshof law never fails so my dear they ideally follows grace of law so we call these kind of chains as golden chains and my dear here what happens is when you are going to fix the shortest link when you are going to fix the shortest link law is satisfied if shortest is going to be fixed first of all we check the fixed position when we will check fixed position it is shortest we will directly say it is going to be double 
crank we will directly say it is going to be double crank many student feels the shortest is a coupler but my dear we will check coupler only when shortest is not at fixed shortest is not at input shortest is not at output only then we are going to check the coupler position so that's why i said you need to follow the positions if you will find out shortest at fixed directly say double crank no need to check any other position and in this case if we are going to fix the longest link my dear when longest will be fixed at input you have shortest at output you have shortest both are going to rotate once again you will be getting double crank so this mechanism always give you double crank so it is used to couple two wheels of locomotive and my dear when we are talking about deltoid linkage here fixing the shortest link you will get double crank as per the rule and fixing the longest link shortest will be coming at input position so it would be becoming a crank so you will get crank rocker but you will never get double rocker because if shortest is at input you will not be checking for coupler or yes or no this is the wonderful concept of gracia flow my dear it is really very very important i would like to tell you and guys when you get time please try to watch uh, the concept capsule for episode number 1 that is related to centripetal and centrifugal forces because that is a doubt for many student it is going to be helpful for theory of machines for engineering mechanics to you guys and also you will be getting help in case of production when you will be going for centrifugal casting for civil people also it is going to be useful in transportation and engineering mechanics okay so let us move further guys try to share that with your friends also my dear we are coming to this once again this is double crank and the last case now my dear if we get s plus l to be more than p plus q low is not going to be satisfied low not satisfied and my dear when low is not satisfied no doubt about that that we are going to get double rocker so when low is not satisfied greshof is not taking the guarantee of a crank we are going to get double rocker for sure so my dear this is the greshof law and now we will be solving problem on the greshof law okay now we will see the problems on the greshof law okay this is the parallelogram linkage you can see that this is parallelogram linkage you will always get double crank here so let us see the first question in front of you now this is the first question in front of you now my dear from the greshof law this is from gate 2005 This is a very good question from Gate. An instantaneous configuration of a four-bar mechanism whose plane is horizontal is shown. Which type of mechanism it is? Double crank, crank rocker, double rocker, or parallelogram linkage? The lengths are given to you. This is two forty. This is sixty. This is one sixty. And using Pythagoras, using Pythagoras, my dear, if this is sixty, this would be hundred. This is two forty. This would be two forty. You can find out this side by Pythagoras, and after finding out this, you can see whether the law is satisfied or not. Then you see whether at fixed position shortest is there. In that way, you will be checking. Is it clear? Yes, Harshad, I have given you the hint for that. How to find AB? Yes, everybody, everybody, and guys, do like and share the session. I want more and more student in these sessions, guys. For you guys only, we have planned this series to teach you the chapter completely. In the next series, we will take cams or vibrations, whatever you want. Very good, Harshada. Try to solve this. Abhimanyu is saying C is the answer. Okay, let us see. Let us see. What about others? So just we have four to five questions in these ten minutes. We will complete it, and tomorrow we are going to discuss the third important thing of the chapter that is crank and slotted lever mechanism. Okay, so be ready for that. We would be directly discussing about crank and slotted lever mechanism and the numericals on that. Midun is saying B very good. What about others? Midun is saying B. 
हर्षदा इज सेइंग बी अभिमन्यु इज सेइंग सी अभिजीत इज सेइंग बी यस सो माय डियर द आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज बी सो लेट अस सी हाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल बी फाइंडिंग आउट ए बी विच इज कमिंग आउट टू बी 100 square plus 240 square. I feel it would be coming out to be 260. And 260 is the longest. So now you know shortest is this O2A. So we have four length as 60, 160, 240 and 260. This is shortest, this is longest. So S plus L, 60 plus 260 is 320 260 and 240 plus 160 is 400 obviously it is less so if 320 is less low is satisfied now we will see whether shortest is fixed or not you will see shortest link is present at input position which is second best position it is not at fixed position so answer is going to be crank roker mechanism Wonderful guys, let us see next question now. Next question is relatively easy. Grishov's rule states that the planar crank rocker four bar mechanism, the sum of the shortest and longest link length cannot be less than the sum of the remaining two. Inversion of a mechanism are created by fixing different links one at a time. Geneva mechanism is an intermittent motion device. Grubler's criteria assume mobility of the mechanism to be 1. You need to tell which of the statement is not correct. Which of the statement is not correct? Yes, guys. Which of the statements is not correct? Okay, Harshada is saying A. What about others? What about others? Sai Ram is saying A. Abhimanyu is saying A. Very good. Wonderful guys. So the answer is A. Because my dear Grubler's criteria definitely take degree of freedom 1 it is correct. Geneva mechanism it is an int intermittent motion that is also correct. This definition of inversion is also correct. But my dear, this is not correct because if you are getting crank rocker, it means S plus L is less than or equals to P plus Q. So this is the incorrect statement. Next question, my dear. A planar closed kinematic chair is formed with rigid links. PQ, 2 meters. QR, 3 meters. RS, 2.5 meters. SP, 2.7 meters. You need to tell that which link should be fixed to get double rocker. If we want double rocker, which out of the four links should be fixed? What do you feel guys the answer for this question? Yes, everybody. Yes, guys, please tell me. Please give the right answer. Yes. Bhanu is saying PQ. Okay. What about others? Abhijit is saying C, means RS, Midun is saying B, QR, so I feel these three have come as answers, SP nobody have answered, first of all this is shortest link, this is longest link, so S plus L is 5, P plus Q, 2.5 plus 2.7, 5.2. So, my dear, first of all, S plus L less than P plus Q, low satisfied. 
लो सेटिस्फाइड नाउ यू नो दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट रोकर रोकर यू विल गेट डबल रोकर इफ शोर्टेस्ट लिंक बिकम्स कपलर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ट्राई टू मेक दिस मैकेनिज्म आई एम गोइंग टू मेक दिस एज पी क्यू दिस एज क्यू आर आर एस एंड एस पी सो माई डियर यू वॉन्ट दिस टू बी कपलर यू नो द लिंक इन फ्रंट ऑफ कपलर इज द फिक्स लिंक so we need to fix rs c is the correct answer c is the correct answer is it clear guys i feel we are left with one to two more questions not more than that this is the last question from degrees of freedom this is the last question from degrees of freedom so let me solve this if you want to answer you can answer it the last question for today you need to answer about degree of freedom of epicyclic gear train yes guys degree of freedom for epicyclic gear train very good some of you have started giving answers so my dear first of all you know this is the fixed link link number 1 this gear is link number 2 this arm is link number 3 this gear is link number 4 so the total number of links are 4 my dear this is a ternary joint because link number 1 link number 2 and 3 are joined at this this is a binary joint and this is higher pair so you know we have number of joints as ternary so ternary one ternary means two binary so we have two binary plus one three binary higher pair is one degree of freedom formula is 3 into l minus 1 minus 2 into joint minus 1 so 9 answer is 2 Two is the answer. Is it fine, guys? So this was the question. So a four-bar mechanism is made up of links hundred, two hundred, three hundred, and three fifty. If three fifty mm link is fixed, the number of link that can rotate fully is the number of links that can rotate fully is giving you options zero. One, two, three. Yes, last question. Please answer it, guys. Last question. It is. Very good. so guys you can see shortest link is 100 longest link is 350 first of all we must see whether low is satisfied or not so 100 plus 350 450 200 300 500 so s plus l is less than p plus q so my dear it means low is satisfied low is satisfied so when low is satisfied now my dear if shortest would be fixed we could get double crank but shortest is not fixed it is given 350 mm link is fixed so we can get only one crank this is the possibility and that also when shortest will become input or output link okay guys so this is the same question okay so guys now you know byju's exam prep is a one complete solution one step solution and where you can get one stop solution where you can get all the things related to gate esc preparations you are getting many series practice series theory conceptual series concept capsules everything is going on and regular classes you can get and my dear when you are getting all the notifications also whenever some exam notification is getting out so everything everything whatever is required you are getting on this single platform so guys just 
लाइक द सेशन शेयर द सेशन एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल सो साइनिंग ऑफ फॉर टूडे वी विल मीट टूमोरो फॉर क्रैंक एंड स्लो ऑटी लीवर मैकेनिज्म एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन वट टॉपिक और कॉन्सेप्ट यू वॉन्ट इन द अपकमिंग कॉन्सेप्ट कैप्सूल एपिसोड्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गो थ्रू द फर्स्ट एपिसोड सेंट्रीपिटल वर्सेज सेंट्रीफ्यूगल फोर्स गुड बाय गाइज फॉर द सेशन थैंक्स फॉर ज्वाइनिंग